Today's stream is brought to you by Fuck It All. From when you just don't give a shit anymore, fuck it all. It's like when Mr. Koizumi was asked which video game character, which Nintendo character was he most like, and he, he answered, my own me. Is that Nicolas Cage? Oh shit, Snoop Dogg! <laughs> hey Snoop. Alright, so I have direct control. I've assumed direct, freely... Free body control. Free blah. Carefree guide, Snoop Dogg. Sasuke? And Catherine Janeway from Star Trek Voyager? What the fuck? Who's Sasuke? Aw, tee hee hee. You're so cute, Janeway. No, you're cute, Sasuke. <laughs> oh no, this game is gonna be just ship after ship after ship. I never thought I'd see Janeway from Star Trek fawning over someone like this. This is- this is mental. I feel like I'm dreaming. Shall I pinch you? Oh my god. For those that don't know who Bill Trinan is... Uh, really? He's famous. Kind of. Bill Trinan is, um, okay, so he's the translator for Shigeru Miyamoto, and he's been kind of ascending the ranks at Nintendo, and, uh, he shows up at a lot of Nintendo events. <laughs> I don't even- the best part is the face alone. Like, I don't even need to have specifically Bill Trinan in this outfit. But just that face is so perfect on the Dark Lord. It's just a slime. Really? You're giving me, like, the- the, <laughs> the most base- <laughs> oh, Bobby Hill's face on a slime. This game's gonna be good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm into it. It's time for the two of you to pick a room. When two characters share a room, their relationship will naturally grow, does it? The closer two characters are, the more they'll help each other out in battle. So pop them into a room together and watch how they get along. I, th <laughs> I think it's just a friendship meter, guys. Don't get any, any ideas. Butterfly Snoop Dogg. I never thought I would see that. Never thought I would see this in my life. Never in my life did I ever expect to watch Snoop Dogg's face float down and land back on his body. In any context, not just in a video game context. Vinny, are you aware that you single-handedly got Smeg censored in all Nintendo games? Well, hang on a minute, you know what Smegma is, right? <laughs> that's, that's not something I invented. I did not invent Smegma, you heard it here first. Smegma is not an original creation of Vine Sauce. It looks like... Vine Sauce wants some bee armor. I'm- I'm fucking done. I am so done with this game. Had a lot of time off today. Time for a new look, huh? I'll be back in a sec. Ta-da! What? It just happened. Sponge just became Ringo. Sponge just became, like, a Abbey Road Let It Be era Ringo. And then... Whose fucking face is that? Is that a Pikachu? Holy shit. <laughs> Catherine Janeway, mouse. This is almost as bad as the Voyager episode where she became a lizard. Almost. Tom Paris went warp 10. Catherine Janeway de-evolved into a fucking mouse. Booby trap. <laughs> I'm an adult. Sponge needs new robes. What the fuck outfit is this, Sponge? What in the name of good, holy, evil, and everything in between are you doing, Sponge? Someone said in chat, I personally like Star Trek Atlantis more than Star Trek SG-1. Oh shit, is that Nick Cage? Snake's alive! We found him! Rocky Nick Cage! <laughs> it's amazing! Look at that face! Oh, this game is wonderful. Oh, look, it's the Cumulus. My favorite clouds. Wasn't Nick Cage in a movie called The Rock? Or is that... Am I thinking of something else? Uh, something else. He was in Con Air. He was! Oh! He was in that movie. Okay. Oh. Ow. I mean, you're using a bee stinger to hurt a rock. You dumb asshole. Just let me live my rock life. 
It was- oh my god, that was a perfect- I- I can't believe I didn't realize that. That was the Wicker Man, recreated. My character, stinging him with a bee stinger sword, is basically just fucking Wicker Man. This is- okay, so now this is three Nick Cage movies in one. The Rock, Face Off, and The Wicker Man. I'm going to shit a cock. This doesn't make any sense. This game is sentient. I'm convinced of it. Smack one enemy senseless with a red-hot frying pan. That, that's about right. That's about in Gordon Ramsay's character. Oh god, it's like a mosaic. <laughs> Vinny, when are you streaming Mo Mitomo? Let me just go ahead and uh, time you out. Why is Sponge happy? Sometimes Sponge is happy. It's not, trust me, it's not for long. My hood up here! How did Sponge come to existence? Uh, it's a bit of a story, but, um... It was just me making up that we needed a new Mario brother. I was playing, um, Super Mario 3D World, and I was like, you know, we've been stuck with the old brothers for a long time. Why don't we get a new one? Like an orange brother. It's a really insanely stupid, ridiculous character creation that was not expected to have any legs whatsoever. Well, I mean, he was expected to walk on his mustache, but that got changed a little bit. The- I guess everyone liked him, and there was a lot of fan art of- of Sponge, <laughs> for some reason. And then, um, yeah, then Tamadachi Life gave him a character. By the way, Pretzel, I don't remember. I have no idea where Pretzel came from, and I probably have been through this multiple times, but I just- I don't remember. I want to see Gordon Ramsay go up to, um, Two-Faced and Sponge's room with, like, goggles and a fucking black light. Be like, oh god, what's this? What the fuck is this stain? Oh no, it's like a mosaic of semen. Ramsey, semen hunter. Semen demon. Pan, nice and hot. Yeah? And then, like, he knocks on the bottom of it. He's like, you know... He goes like this. He's like, all the heat in the pan is here. Like, he knocks on the- he, he, like, even though the pan was just on the fire, Gordon Ramsay will sometimes show off where the heat is in the pan, and he'll knock on it, he'll lift it, and he'll- he'll knock, and he'll- uh, just to show you that the heat is in the bottom of the pan. Well, no fucking shit! It's in here, in the bottom of the pan. Those things are huge, I can't fit one in my mouth- OH MY GOD! What's the context of this? Reading this, and then listening to this music? Fucking Christ. Oh! No! Venice sauce, please. Please! No, not anything but this conversation. Of course, it's Carl fighting a fucking monkey fella. It's the weirdest episode of monkey news I've ever seen. Before we begin, I have a confession to make, everyone. It's very heavy, it's very difficult for me to tell you this, but... I turned myself into a pickle. I'm Pickle Vin! I'm Pickle Vin! Pickle Vin! I'm Hotel Mario and I'm a cat. <laughs> That's a good screen cap right there. I'm not so sure about all this. I'm not so sure about all this, but I'll try my hardest. If you need instructions. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something might be a little bit... I'm... I've called two more party members for you. They should show up soon. <laughs> so you can rescue your couch and friends travel with your new party. Hotel Mario is beautiful. She is a beautiful, beautiful cat. Oh, this is a very strange thing. I... Hotel Mario, I am severely allergic to you and you need to stop that right now. Oh my god. Can- can someone just analyze this... this moment? It's Luigi in a fucking leather... sex outfit. Mario dressed as a cat. And Luigi saying, I wonder what it feels like. This is such a fucking bizarre game. Someone tweeted this picture to me. I didn't know. You know, I met Riker. I met him. He was as Rikery as you see in the show. He was nautical. But it turns out, um, he's not in fact a starship captain or first officer. 
Um, nor was he dead like in that picture. But I, I like I like the idea that I have a little little Riker in me. Oh, I mean, the amount of people Riker fucked statistically. If this was the 24th century, I, w I would statistically maybe even be his son. But that's a whole different story. With Lacey, Vinny, and the other ones being buffed, this looks like a porno in the making. Yeah, this is the porn phase of the Metopia streams. The Vine Toss harem of buff muscle brothers and two faced. But she's got two faces at least. What? 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 Okay. I'm gonna close the DS. What did I just look at? Is that- was that an enemy called a twerky? Oh, look, it's- it's- it, yep. It's called twerky. And it's got a mouth on its twerking ass. And it's not just any ass, it's thick. Here's- here's the thing, people are like- People were like, Vinny, you're- you're making everything sexual in Metopia. Everything's sexual when you play Metopia, Vinny. And then I- And then there's a there's a, twer there's a twerky. Is the poo emoji gonna show up in a little bit? I wonder? How did they- how did they get away with this? Yep. Just beat the twerky with a wooden rod. Tingle is very childish, though. In the- in the games, but... In terms of age, isn't he like a 42-year-old fairy? Like, man-child fairy? 35 years old. 35 years old. You guys, in three years, I will be as old as Tingle. What the fuck? In ten years, I'll be as old as a 42-year-old person. What the fuck? Is that how aging and numbers work? So yeah, yesterday, there was a Jurassic Park screening on the side of my friend's house. At sundown, that's what I did last <clears throat> last night. It was fun. We watched we watched the movie. Uh, it, was, it was good. But whenever Jeff Goldblum shows up on screen, I can't just I can't help but laugh. Especially when he does, he's like how how how. And then the the part at the end, like well not at the end, but like towards the middle of the movie, when Goldblum has his shirt off, like he's injured, and he's just breathing heavy. There's a gif of, um, Sam Neill laying on Jeff Goldblum's stomach and being raised with the breathing of Jeff Goldblum as if he was a dinosaur. And, uh, I pulled that up on my phone and I, I just, I was like, I was like, hey guys, take, take a look at this real quick. And they couldn't stop laughing and they were like, thanks for ruining this scene for me forever. It's like, you're welcome. Uh, it's funny because if you type Jeff Goldblum gif, it's the second result. It's this one. This is good. If you're ever w with people watching Jurassic Park, bust this one out. Uh, Meat Boy looks pretty cool. There it is. Finally got the macho robe. I don't understand how this works. Oh god! <laughs> Look at that fucking... the chest piece. What an impractical piece of shit robe. Look at these- these muscles. I don't understand this ro- oh wait- oh I get it. The ro- okay, I thought that the muscles were plastered on. It turns out what's supposed to be happening here is that the robe... is actually a like it- it, it conforms around the muscles. My fucking 14 pack or 12 pack or whatever I have, it kind of protrudes. It, it's making me kind of uncomfortable. I like to talk about unrelated things sometimes. Get the get what are you doing? I don't want that. Thanks. What do you mean thanks? Kick him! At, kick him in the face. It's kind of happy. I don't want that at all. Is this what you humans like? I've heard your streams before, Vinisauce. I've heard you talking about centipedes multiple times during your streams. Vinny, what's your worst childhood memory? That time in the boys' bathroom when someone pushed poop through a, gr um, a grate and made it look like Play-Doh. So today, I was- I was talking all- I was blabbering all day. But usually I talk so much on stream that I actually don't want to talk very much. Oh! God!
Oh, why is it bulging in the dress? Look at these veins! This is, this is disgusting. This is just plain disgusting. Oh my god, I just went on Twitter to look for the amiibos. And, uh, Omniseal made a post. I thought he was holding a nugget of weed. It's a frog. Like, I scrolled real quick. And I was like, why is he posting a picture of his weed on Twitter? Nope, frog. Hey, Bart. It's me, your old man. Ho 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 ho! funny to me. I don't know why I'm still laughing either. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, that was just... Yeah. So there you go, I'm good at impressions. Scoot, you need a new- you need a new tank. You don't need an octopus. I, I really want the octopus. But Scoot, you have a silver bullet. You, you literally have a bullet that can stop an, a werewolf. It's... Really sharp. I got the octopus. Like Hotel Mario's hotels aren't doing so well at the moment, so we had to pick up some uh, side work. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's the desired result for us for Hotel Mario's side work. Vinny, my dog keeps getting angry and growling whenever you speak. You suck, dog. Urgh. That was my dog impression. When I do the voice, you guys put the mate emote, right? What if I did the Tinky Winky voice, then you do the Tinky Winky emote, right? What if I did this? Oh, no, mate. I do, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's fine, you know what I'm saying, mate? And I've destroyed the chat. That's the new duck button. Tinky Winky mate. I'm new, Vine Sauce, I'm new, what do we do here? Suffer. In a perfect world, um, people would speak in sentences to some extent, and have something reasonable to contribute to the chat. How you doing? It's me, mate. Yep. Talk through, I mean memes. We're here for, we're here for memes. Oh, God. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Swole Devil Vinny is finally here. It's taken this long. But the time has arrived. I go to click on a, a link in chat to see if it's the tweet that the XCOM devs made for, um, you know, the, the Mario and Rabbids team. And this is the picture. This is why you don't click dubious links in the chat. What the fuck is this, gentleman cat suit? Business Nyanjuel? What's your name? I'm gonna remember that. What's your name? Who said that? Avianite. Avianite. Remember when I said I remember some people earlier? Thou shalt be remembered. I've said this before, only I. I'm allowed to butcher words and make shitty puns and wordplays. Only I am allowed to make a complete fool of myself on this stream. For the benefit of man- of... Nyan-kind. Fuck! Gentleman catsuit. <laughs> Why am I amused by this shit? I guess you could call it business Nyanjual. And now I wait for people to leave the stream after that. Wow. Running nose, don't do that! <laughs> Running nose, when you do that, you look like a micro penis. Please don't do that. Do you still have an automaton? I do, I played it the other day. In fact, it's right here. It's kind of dying though. It's making really, re really, really, really weird noises and I think it's in its final death throes. 
Actually, it's not too bad right now. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. There you go. It gets a little crackly. It's an older, wiser automaton. What do you think he likes to put it on? Manually. Oh, it was detected manually, you know? What the fuck is this? Venusauce wants an arm wrestling sword. That's not a sword. Y you bludgeon people with this. This is a club in the shape of a fist. Oh man, people in chat are saying it's basically a dildo. How did I not think of that? How am I- am I slipping? Am I losing my... edge? I'll never forget the time I went to the adult store with some friends from college. And, um, this creepy guy who was working at the adult entertainment store. Who looked like kind of a... an unhealthy Robert De Niro. <laughs> and he was trying to, like... Like, he ignored me completely, but he was trying to sell items to the, uh, to the ladies I was with. He was like, you gotta check out this, this movie, The Da Vinci Load. It's like The Da Vinci Code, but it's The Da Vinci Load. How about pirates? You like pirates? And he just kept going on and on and on. And then he, like, came back with a big fucking dolphin. He was like, you know... You know what you could do with this, right? It wasn't Mario. He wasn't Mario. But it was- it was really weird. It was really weird. It was like a fucking dolphin. Of course they had fist swords, too. That- that old there. That wholesome adult entertainment store. Oh, wh what do you do with the dolphin? I'm not gonna tell you what you do with the dolphin. Listen, I've already said too much. I've already been- wait, like my- Lately, I've been just telling you guys too much. Remember when I told you about the strip club stuff? How you can't touch the boobolas? That- that- this is now- I have to like, scale this back. Like, I'm at like an 8, I have to go back to like a 6. Vinny, the adult store in my town is haunted. Someone has both died and been born on the premises. Oh. Vinny do a straw poll about if he thick is the worst character ever. I already know the answer to that question. And the answer is yes. I can imagine like the- <laughs> the younger audience that jumps into my Metopia streams. It's like, oh, I like Scoot, and like, oh, like Sponge, and I like all the little me characters that Vinny has from Tominachi Life. I love this stuff. And then, you know, get like f 10 episodes in, and I'm talking about like life choices and crack, sex dolphins. Uh, yeah. Um, 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 Vinny told me I should buy a sex dolphin and do crack. Tucker, you fucking idiot. Go on, Dr. Phil, and act like you have anger problems and use angry duck sounds. You'll be super famous. Could you imagine? I call Dr. Phil, I just say, like, listen, I got- I got some fucking problems, Doc. <laughs> Seriously, I quack whenever I get angry, and I'm angry all the time. I just go on the show, and I just bullshit. I just- just keep bullshitting my way. <laughs> this man quacks like a duck when he's angry. Catch me outside on the next Dr. Phil. Now, you know, it sounds to me like you might be on drugs. What is the moisture guy doing now? You mean the dude who wouldn't let the other dude use his cup for condensation? So yeah, one of my friends asked this guy... They were friends, you know, they were pretty close. Um, hey, can I use your, your, your fast food drink cup? Can I use it to wash my hands? Can I get some of that condensation off the cup? It was a hot day, so the humidity made the cup kind of wet. So, he was like, can I use some of your condensation to wash my hands? And he was like, no! No! And it turned into a big fight and a big argument because it, there's no reason not to let him use the condensation. And that was the beginning of the end of their friendship. Vinny, you sure you're not giving us the condensed version of that story? How dare you. Vinny, why do you make fun of Guy Fieri so much? He... ...brings attention to small businesses, and he's a super nice guy. Uh... There's a difference between me lightly ribbing Guy Fieri for having a funny voice... ...and going like, RIGHT HERE! ...and Mike Love actually doing scummy shit. 
I don't know Guy Fieri, like, on a personal level, obviously. I've never heard anything particularly bad about the guy. Apparently, people in chat are saying he's a nice guy. I've seen him do some interviews. He seems like a chill guy in interviews. And he does bring attention to local businesses, but he also is a living meme that has spiky Bowser hair and wears flame shirts and and says very silly things. It's weird because the the episode, like, I don't have cable, but there are times when I'll watch, like, if I'm in a hotel, I will watch Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives because it's, it's a genuinely entertaining show. And the, the two times I managed to catch that show on television were the episode where he goes to the hot dog place and eats the hot dog. And it's like, we're talking like a crazy fucking hot dog. Also, I googled Guy Fieri hot dog to try to find the, the gif of him eating the, the trash dog. And this is what I found. What can- what the fuck is this? The staff is where he stores his sadness. At first, I thought you were talking about the restaurant, like Guy Fieri's restaurant. Like, you go there, and like, his staff is just really sad because Guy Fieri, like, went... ...and he just, like, unloaded all of the bad things in his life to his staff at the restaurant. And then I realized, oh, I just want a staff in Metopia. Here's the best question I think I've ever received. Vinny, have you seen Spider-Man masturbate outside your window like what happened with me last year with Batman? No. Vinny, there's a shootout happening in my neighborhood. So this may be the last thing I watch. Cheers, mate. <sighs> Fucking go into a tub and cover your head with a bucket. I'm not even kidding. Please be safe. What are you doing watching this? Put a bucket over your fucking head. Vinny, how come you self-deprecate a lot? At least I'm not self-defecating. -de it's part of your humor, or is there more to it? Um... I don't have too much of an ego, I don't think. And if I do, I'd like to just knock it down... ...often. And also, you know, I've, I've often said this, but... ...you know, I'd, I'd rather not be like... Who, ...who the fuck wants to listen to someone play themselves up? I know- I've said this before, I know my self-worth. I have no problem self-defecating because I know what I'm worth. He's only being humble, so we'll praise him for his humbleness. You're on to me. You got it. You figured it out. Got a lot more time on our hands today. Time for a new look. Oh no, not- no, we were so close to finishing this. No! <laughs> Does Cat Hotel Mario say no instead of nya or no? Never thought of that before, and now I hate that you just said that. It's finally here. Our last battle. No matter what. They have to be in. Yeah, it's like a fucking bayonetta boss. <laughs> this is absurd. Oh! Is that like a stanky guitar? We got a stanky guitar in the game. Sorry, brothers. You had to die. There was no other way. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Final phase. <laughs> oh no. Punished Psycho Jesus. Oh no. God. Someone in the background. There's a singer going. <laughs> Stark raving mad lumberjan gets the final hit. I, I believe it was Tom Fan that was doing the vocal there. Are we on to the Darkest Lord? Someone in chat just said, Vinny, now it's time to fight the Darkest Lord. He thick. We will... We will return to Metopia. I hope you enjoyed the main adventure. I did. This was a lot of fun. Gave me a chance to shoot the shit a little bit. We got some new lore. 
Um, some, some wacky. We got some wacky, we had some fun. And, uh, you know, even though it wasn't exactly the sequel to Tamadachi that I wanted, it was still pretty good. Definitely worth my time. Definitely good streaming material, I think. So, let's come back to this. 